Okay, uh, I, I, those, those two pieces of three-quarter that I told you to cut in the beginning, um, those actually go inside these, uh, these adapters, so uh, go ahead and get those uh, taken care of, soldered in, and cleaned off with your brush. I, I, I don't have to show you that, it's just pretty self-explanatory, okay? So now, now that we got that stuff on there, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get these things up, okay? And I'm going to show you how we attach that stuff to the uh, to the unit. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now the reason I had you guys cut that three quarters is when I go to put this on here, I'm going to show you something. When I put those in, if you, if you can see this, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a little shoulder that, that separates the, uh, the body section from the top of that. So it gives me a little bit of space, like right here. So when I fill this with solder, it actually has a reservoir to, to, to go around, and it actually holds it, it holds it a lot better. I found um, just drilling it big and trying to stick that in there, it just doesn't give, give you the connection that I like. So giving you the heads up on that and it works a lot better that way okay so again I'll take I'll take this uh, this section here and, and line those uh, those pieces up with the bottom that one's dead on that one's dead on right there okay and then what I'll do is I'll look I'll look down this to make sure I'm, I'm nice and straight I'm looking pretty good there, pretty good there, and then I want to look square this way. That looks really, really good, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with some solder, okay? Myself and I'll show you those joints unless you can see them I don't know but I'm just going to show you these joints here real quick see how they wick around that thing and it builds that shoulder up fills that shoulder in so that's that's what I like to see guys so that's basically the deflagmator now you need to do a little cleanup I take a uh, piece of uh, steel wool I actually spray some WD-40 on here and it actually cleans a lot of this uh, flux off of there and then I'll clean it with some uh, soapy water and then I'll come back with a, uh, a piece of steel wool and, and go with the grain this way instead of this way and just clean all the way around those edges and everything and then I'll, I'll finish it up with that and, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done.